Lots of love. Hi, Greg. Andy here. Up a mountain in the Northumberland Hills. Heavy rain, tent bound. Tunes keeping me alive. It's Craig at BBC. Yep. <clears throat> Back out. Oh, this time, Saturday afternoon. I was going to go out yesterday, but I had no energy, like. So, I came out today with some energy, and I'm back in the hills. <sighs> Rain, windy as well. It was really windy on the way up. I'm in a little bit of a valley now, so. But you can see the, the grass blowing in that. Give a good test of the tent. Got that black label thing. Put it up in some um, some decent wind today, and there's a lot of rain forecast. Although there was sunny intervals in that same forecast, so who knows? Who knows? I'm prepared though. Fully waterproofed. Ready for anything. So let's. Do this. It's pretty much like this all the way, three miles. Forest track. You've got to follow the um, the map, like, because the road goes that way, goes that way. And I walked up there. I went up there and right round to the left, and then I checked the map round there and realised that's where I need to be. The thing, the post there. Look at that. You'd think we'd put the post here, wouldn't you? But no, it's right in the trees, so you cannot see it. So I've got to go through them trees of death. Into the murk. Look at the gloom. Seen a lovely deer before. Well, I think it was time to drink. I disturbed it. Oh, it was a lovely colour. It's like a red, it must have been a red deer. Really dark ginger looking thing. And I look where the finger post is. How daft. I'm going up there. That, that needs to be there. Or I should have looked at the map. Not really. I'll push on. Oh, I can't wait to get the tent up. Get out of this weather. Everything's going to be soaked. Anyway, I've already, it dries off, you know. Everything was soaked last week and it was all dry by Monday, so not really a problem, is it? Definitely need the map for this, just to keep you on the path. Um, the view range, it's tough going. All these thistly things, it's really boggy underfoot. Oh, I don't think anybody's been up here for a long time. There's a few little mark, marker points. See, there's a post there. It tells you to go that way, which matches what it says on the map. So you go that way and around the back and up through the back of there. Whoo! Look at it though, would you know where you were? Be knackered without the map, like. When I say map, it's view ranger and I'm plotting, I'm plotting my route. So it's keeping us right, so I can see where the where the map is, and I'm more or less on the the, the path. Sorry, I'm more or less on the path. So that's all right. Just keep checking it every hundred yards, though. You know, you go that way, check it. Go that way if it tells you check it. I'm stopping every two minutes to check this map to make sure I'm keeping right. But as you can see, so far so good. We'll crack on. What was I saying about following the path? Sometimes you can't. Loads of fallen trees. So I had to like go around them. Some of them I was climbing over them. Some were just too much to get over. There's all these uprooted ones with massive pools of water at the bottom. Scary, spooky roots of terror. Stitch in there. But uh, I'm lost in the middle of the 
Forest of Death. Forest of Death! Really lost. But I think I'm going to go straight all the way up there. We should come out somewhere up there. <laughs> Hopefully. I think the map's given up on us as well. It's just, it is, it is the path, like it's the marked path, but it's right through this forest and there's no, there's no way of telling where the actual path is. I'm just having to find my way. I'm just having to follow the line. So the line should bring me out onto a, um, another track in the open. Let's see. If anybody finds this video, just publish it. It's what I would have wanted. Loads of these about. Still ripe. Nice. A bit of refreshing zing. Ah, oh, come up there. Out of the trees. The path goes along there, but the map is up here is where I need to be. So it's just a straight line up there. Apparently, heather bashing though, there's no path, just gonna make your own. Just a word of warning if you're heather bashing, you've got to be careful because there's are sometimes there's giant sinkholes. I've been down a few in my time, you just gotta be careful where you put your feet because the heather hides great big cavities, chasms of doom. Mmm, these bilberries are lovely. We call them bilberries. I don't know what everybody else calls them but we always used to have them as kids I thought like August was the time that they were gone but no there's still millions they're really refreshing nice and really messy hand like I'll wash off right so just a straight line up there and then hopefully I should get to the top pretty soon I'm losing all the light not gonna get many views am I and uh, not worry. I thought I can get a flat pitch, that's all I'm bothered about really. This is called Shivering Stone. No idea why. Somebody will know. It's random. Giant boulders just in the middle of nowhere. Ooh. Rain's back on. Oh, I'm waiting for the tent up. Yeah, middle of nowhere. Shivering stone. So my destination is up there in that. So the map says just walk in a straight line from here and come to the top. <laughs> Whew! <laughs> we'll see about that. I've been, been down a few holes in that heather, what I was mentioning. Oh the wind, the wind's picking up. Alright, well, we'll push on because time's getting on now. It'll be more than three hours. It's been good like. But I'm sick of it now. Well, I've got to be honest, that's the way I came from there. Not a clue, there's no path. And if I hadn't used View Ranger, I would never have found this place. So there you go. That's people who uh, don't think View Ranger is very good. I've got us straight here. Oh. A welcome sight. What a slog. What a task getting up here. <laughs> Bloody bush edge. Oh, look how wet it is. <laughs> Christ. Bloody wet. That's a, another high point in the Juviet. Take it off my list of camping spots. Look at the ground though. Not good, is it? Pitch. Soggy as anything. I think here might be the best place. Not a bad bunch. Right. Oh. Bloody bush edge. Bloody hard walk. It's five mile. Five mile from the car. I'll be about six and a half from the village because I cheated a little bit and drove up the forest track. But it's bleak, isn't it? Oh, lad. <laughs> There's probably some really nice views, but you you just would never know. Hopefully it'll clear up tomorrow, tomorrow morning. And I think, I have a feeling I'll be heading back that way. That's the way I came. 
I may be going back that way, over Cushet Law and then down. I don't want to go back through them trees of terror. That was ridiculous. All right, hold on, I'll get this tent set up, get shelter up. Most important thing, get your shelter up. Tent set up, and uh, I'm right next to the trig point. Yeah. It's a bit wet, like boggy there. It's flat. Oh, inside it's actually really flat and comfortable. I think I've found the only flat bit. You ever get the feeling like uh, when you get somewhere and you think, oh, yeah, it's going to be great this, and then when you get there, you're thinking, you start questioning your sanity. Well, that's me tonight. Thinking, what am I doing here? <laughs> Can I be that keen? But anyway, we'll push on. We've got a denim salt brewery. Good stuff from salt at the minute. Faith. Everybody's got to have that. I just threw in a random ghost chip. I thought that was something else, but uh, it doesn't matter. Eye cat. Uh, smash and grab. And not last but not least. Another one, Juicy, he's back. He'd come back on the shelves. I had none last week. Whew. So anyway, I've got my little nest set up. I couldn't think anywhere I'd rather be like up here than in this tent. The pegs are a bit debatable whether they're in tight or not. The ground's really soft. I mean, look at that's That's not even in. That's it. That's what it should be. I think that's because I moved the thing around. Like, Ooh, that's my view. Nice, eh? Lovely. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to get out of these wet things. These are damp off all the grass. My trousers underneath are nice and dry. Uh, my base layer is wet. I've got a spare t-shirt. I've got a spare... Uh, I've got a spare... Top basically so I'll put that on with my t-shirt and then the fleece and that'll warm us up I've got a towel always bring a towel like that'll do for the door uh, for the floor later when it gets wet it's getting off wet off my boots that rain's not stopping though listen to that rain on the tent there eh? lovely but I've got it pitched so I can have the door open it's not coming in which is good it's good when it's directional because at least you can get out of it, you know. It's when it's whipping round that you can't. You've got to have the door shut. But at the minute, I'm uh, I'm happy to have the door open. Right, I'm just going to get changed, get warmed up a bit, and then get it um, get into one of them. Six beers. I only thought I thought I only had five. I'm sure I didn't mean to bring that. Anyway, let's see how it goes. nice and cosy in here what a rotten night just couldn't bear another night sat in the house hands are freezing definitely autumn now autumn camps aren't <coughs> yeah excuse me um autumn camps are good you've got to take your uh you warm my gear now though. Right, I've got me I've got this fleece on. Another base layer. I didn't bother with a t-shirt. Actually not that cold, but it, it will get in the night. I've got a down jacket over there. Plus this bag should keep us warm enough. And that's it really. I'm gonna do a video of the uh, me um I'm gonna do a video of a wipe. I'm gonna do a video of me um, me winter kit, winter sleeping mat. This is a this is still like the summer mat. It, it, it is insulated, but it's not it's not really for the winter harsh winter. 
this bag as well, if you've got a 900, I wouldn't worry about having a 1100, the 900 is adequate. But I chose to upgrade. Because that's just what I do. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a little a short video about what kit I use in the winter for like, just for comfort, you know. I mean, I've had some harsh nights in the winter time and I learned over the years that if you want a good night's kip and you want to enjoy the camp, you know, you, you get some decent gear. It's all good, it's all right, you know, oh, yeah, push myself with all my cheap gear and I don't need this, I don't need that. Well, good for you, like, <laughs> but I like my comfort. If you want to make yourself uncomfortable and live extreme, that's fine. But I'm afraid I don't anymore. Anyway, enough waffling, it's time for a beer. Let's get into it. It's not that. Right, so here we are. Ah, what time is it? 20 past 8. <coughs> Haven't had anything to eat yet, not really hungry. Nice. Faith. It's a bit of faith. Um, yeah, not much really happening. There's no sunrises, sets, or, well, don't know about sunrise. No sunset, definitely. <laughs> no stars. No anything. So it's just gonna be well, that's it. That's it really. That's the end of the video for tonight. Unless anything ridiculous happens, which I can't see. What I've got is uh that battery died again. So you don't get any warning with these blimmin' GoPros. No warning, it just goes, dies, dead, zip, zilch. Anyway, I've got my um, phone hanging from this little hammock area that I've created. It's the only place I can get a signal. Up there, signal, radio on, everything. Down here, nothing. <laughs> it's mad. I don't know how that works. Hey. Anyway, as you can hear, the rain's still on. The beer's still going. It's only um, about half nine. So, the night's passed quite quickly. I don't mind just lying here, chilling out, you know. It's relaxing. Uh, it's really relaxing. I tell you what it is, all this. This bed's so comfortable. I lie on it, the pillow and the mat. It's, it's just so, it's just so. Be seeing you. I am, so that's it really. Nothing's gonna happen. It's only when I get out for a natural break that I'm going to get drenched. Which is uh, near on the cards, like, I've tried to hold off for so long, but you can't hold off forever, can you? Anyway, unless we get attacked by werewolves, oh, or other ghostly apparitions, we'll, not, we'll see in the morning. I'll just get the music back on. Oh dear, morning campers, howdy hi now. Oh, I oh, think. Uh, the mist's lifted. Oh, it's actually not a bad morning, apart from the wind. It's been raining, all night rain. And I could hear the rain this morning. But that doesn't look too bad, does it? I should be able to find my way off anyway. I, just, I think you just follow the fence to cush it low. And then from Cushion Law straight forward. Oh, it's never stopped blowing the wind. 
and really that rain has only just stopped in the last 10 minutes all night tent bound all night well, well can't win them all i don't mind when on a solo camp it's a mess in here like i can't i can't bin me cans well i can i can't crush them go outside they just blow away so to crush them in here all right so i'm gonna um have a, a quick brew and then off i'm not in a mad rush so i'll just get everything packed away and then i'll get home everything needs drying off tent soaking all right here we go oh that was worse than anything ever my hands are like blocks of ice sure i've got frostbite there's the top that's where i'm going that way down the fence up onto cush at law and then back down through the trees i don't know how far it is it's quite a walk but oh i just want to get off it's probably the worst pitch ever worst camp ever so that's it we'll see what happens along the way well i've regained the use of my fingers that's bloody bush so i came down there around just full of the fence if you're on bloody bush and you want to go to cush it law you follow that fence in a um easterly direction and it takes you all the way to it really it crosses it's just see the top of cush it law there and then it's dropped down the steepest hill in the world really but that's going down so i'm all right with that and uh, back to the valley back to the valley in the forest track where i will derobe because it's still a bit cold up here so on that note we'll end it here because uh, it's not much happening once you get over here I'll just be back on the road um it's been a windy wild and wet adventure would I recommend that bush, uh, bloody bush for camping? Nah, it's awful. I was pitched in a swamp. It was uneven. Although saying that, I slept well, but it wasn't the greatest pitch. The weather didn't help. Like, just blew a gale all night. Never stopped. Tent was awesome. Awesome. Bushman, that's your catchphrase. Right, so we're going to leave you with this view of bloody bush and then bloody trees, bloody hills, bloody paths, bloody wind and bloody rain. Right, see you on the next malarkey. Come back, um, I'm just down in the trees, I've come down off Cushit Law which is up that way. If you go that way, that takes you to the road that I was on yesterday, but still miles from where I need to be. It brings you out up where I have to turn around and go back. Listen to the atmosphere though. Perfect. Peace. Right, that's it then. I'm off this time.